Alright. Another Oct Octarius Cyrax world. Bad Rap Orcs versus Tunis, as you can see. A little bit different. Big 90 boys. Some still a lot of loot in this deck off this little wagon. And Rig Mac. He's out in the open this time. Not very good. But alright. We're playing Capture and Control. Playing a uh, pitch battle. I got your control. Alright. I went first, but Volander stole, stole the initiative. initiative. And actually, this is with my movement phase. I haven't done everything in my movement phase, but. Uh, he moved up his whole Basically, house. moved. I haven't run or shot or anything, but we'll come back. Well, I guess we could talk about what we have. Uh, have two Zoanthropes. These guys are Zoanthropes. 16 uh, Hormagons. A Termagon. Back here in my fortress, I have three uh, Tyranid Warriors. Over here, uh, the Hive Tyrant and the uh, Tyrant Guard. I have two Hive Guard, and I have 16 uh, Termagons. Uh, in reserve, I have the Doom and Malentite who will come in and on the spore. Those uh, gene sealers that are outflanking to come from sides, depending on what I roll. And then there's 12 extra uh, Hormagons in reserve. I think I actually have 14. No, maybe. It, okay, I know I have a total of 26. It's maybe 16 and 10. It's some one of those numbers. And we had to cut our table short, sadly. But, um,. This was Tyranids in the middle of turn one. In the Tyranids turn one, actually, uh, we allowed Green Dawnfighter to make his scout move, uh, and then I went ahead and did my move. These guys actually, uh, well, let's start here with shooting. These guys actually shot at the helicopters, took two wounds, one of them was destroyed. These Hive Guard shot at the big tank, the looted wagon, and took away its big gun. Uh, these guys here, the ten Termagons that were spawned, uh, moved forward and shot at these orc boys and uh, made one wound, and he made his invulnerable save because that a custom force field guy. These two guys did the blasts, the zoanthropes, and two orcs died. Uh, over here, this guy put catalyst on these these uh, these guys right here, and uh, in assault, uh, yeah, these guys. There's eight of them that were able to get into assault and were able to take another two wounds and take out another helicopter. So uh, that's the end of my turn. We'll come back uh, orc turn. And my orc turn one. I did not move up this vehicle since it had no weapons, since it was a short. Moved up my orcs and ran them an inch. They didn't move very much. Orcs moved up, orcs moved up. Uh, they both shot at the Termagants. These guys weren't able to get in range because so many of the Termagants died in their way, sadly. These orcs were able to get into assault, killed all the Termagants, and assaulted forward right next to the Hormagants. Uh, and, well actually we forgot to do that assault with the helicopters and hormigons. We'll do that, and we'll tell you what happens later, but that is all I have. Oh yeah, Ludas all shot at the Termagons over there, and only left five with Devourers left, which isn't good. Devourers aren't as nice. And so, going into Tyranids turn two, but also we're going to do that assault and tell you what happens. Turns over. Um, well, we finished up this assault. Two more helicopters died. Oh, man, I forgot. Do attack back. Two misses. Alright. So, nothing happened. Oh, yeah, this guy only has one left. Gets all of those one guns. The orcs, about to save the day, but now going into Tyranid's turn. Dopes. Okay, in the Tyranid's turn two, the Doom Malentite came in. He dropped in right there. Was able to take away, I think, three boys, three wounds from here, this big mob. 
he uh, actually took away two or three, or f yeah, three guys from one group of Ludas. They failed their leadership. They ran back. Uh, these guys were shot at by these termagants, by these guys here with their blasts. Diminished them a bunch. They he put Paraxium on the orcs. These guys over here shot and killed about two or three orc boys. These guys here shot at the orc boys and killed another three. So uh, that's the end of. Oh, actually, an assault. The Hormagons took out the helicopter and went forward. Uh, so we'll push up here, and that's the end of orc turn or turn and turn two. End of orc turn. Two, I think it is. These guys made the leadership, so they stayed there. They shot, shot down some of the former gods. Moved over here. I called the wog, so they moved six inches, ran for and assaulted six into sixteen inches. Assault the, so the Duma Malentine insta killed it with a power claw. Over here, moved up six inches, ran five inches, assaulted six inches, got it, only a couple guys in onto the hive tunnel, was only able to kill the hive guard and assault went up. We here assaulted the Hormagons and do very well. Only because they had a catalyst. And there's still some alive. And that is all that happened. This guy, I just don't even know what to do with this guy. So I'll just leave him there. And that is all that's happened. I went into Tyranids turn 3. The Tyranids turn 3. Uh, a lot of assaulting went on. Uh, these Hormagons were still in assault with uh, a group of Orc boys. These guys were spawned from the Termagon. They actually came in and charged and were able to uh, whittle down the number of Orc boys. And with their combined efforts, along with the Hormagons, were able to take out the last eight or so Orc boys taking out that squad. Here I rolled reserves. These Hormagons came in, they ran and then assaulted this group of 30 or so Orc boys, probably 25. Uh, my other movement was these guys, they came in reserve, were able, only only able to run one inch and they just barely got in. One guy got in and these other two guys got in just barely because of the you know, two inches to the base rule. So those three guys and then these Hormagons in addition to uh, the big HQ took out uh, almost all of the Orc boys and uh, the Orc here actually did take out the Hive Guard or the Tyrant Guard and one of uh, the wounds from the, the Tyrant the Hive Tyrant. I, I missed my Paraxium, so he was able to hit pretty easily. But uh, that's really the end of this turn in shooting. I guess I should have said that these Zoanthropes, I think, took out three Orc boys. Uh, and these Hive Guard actually shot at those Orc boys. That is the end of my turn. We'll come back with it. turn three. Alright, hey, but um, this isn't, this isn't Orc, end of Orc turn 3. This is just me conceding. At the beginning of the game, this was taken out so I couldn't do anything. Then all these guys right here, all my Orcs were destroyed with from a surprise attack from the Tyranids. And this guy still can keep spawning guys, so it's just an endless amount of guys coming forward at me right now. I just can't, and my looters aren't good in assault, so they'll just be whittled down, so I just don't see any more point. More orcs dying for no cause. And so, uh, sadly, Big Mac, my deprived Big Mac, who r r leads all the orcs to battle on this world, has died. So it's a, a horrific loss to the orcs, and they a morale loss, they have to fall back. It's a good game. Game. The, the next game would be the Apocalypse, the apocalypse game. game I made a hole in the Tyranids breaches and uh, into the Tyranids defenses so I'll be able to hit their main base and that's what will be our Apocalypse game but this is a horrible defeat for the Orcs well it was a lot 
more fair, but it's just because I kept respawning. I yeah. respawned three times, and a lot of. And you still can yeah. roll again, yeah. like just roll, roll, roll another three dice. You would have spawn. Oh my gosh! I still six, five, and three. And you still would have had kept power. going, and that would just been just so many. Even my looters took out like gene stealers in the. E. Well, I couldn't because they're an assault. Even I took out some of these termagants, whatever. It was actually kind of good, at least for me, that he yeah. didn't die because they're still an assault. Yeah, it's all these guys in assault, technically. So, yeah. The end of the game, Tunits win. Sadly.